Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and it's Friday. So it is a Friday funny. This Friday funny is is kind of kind of a lot of these. It's it's definitely rainbows and unicorns and lollipops, as I call it. It, it is absolutely so ridiculous. Betty White's laughing at you. Ricky Gervais can't just can't even look at you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who 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 is this week's um really laugh at him worth laughing at yes that's right this absolute ridiculous thing bill mckibben who uh yes he's an environmental author he's an activist okay we all know he he started 350 which i call uh got earth to 400 plus its goal is to get Earth to um, back to 350 carbon dioxide parts per million. The only thing we have done since 350 has started 16 years ago was increase <laughs> CO2 um, to past 400. So I, I call it got Earth to 400 plus because this fool here has exactly zero solutions and worse. <laughs> That's right. Worse. This is the emails that I have sent to uh, at 350.org, which is Bill at 350 and May at 350. And, three fi and May is the executive director. This is probably when I started this email in March of um, 2010. So tw 12 years ago. And this this is just the emails that I have sent to Bill McKibben and 350. Now, 350, uh, I've done um, a, a video about them. I am blocked from them on Facebook. I cannot even see 350. I am so blocked. Their page does not even come up for me to see what they are spewing to people, <laughs> okay, because it is all ridiculous. Now that 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 is the emails, okay, and um, that that I've sent to Bill McKibben in 350 since. Actually, some since then because I just sent one tonight. Maybe I brought this up before I sent one tonight, but um, that's a lot of emails, okay. They are absolutely very well aware, even though they have never once replied of what they are keeping from the world. And even though, you know, they go out and they yap that, oh, yeah, they're going to, oh, they're, they're going to get started <laughs> 16 years later. <laughs> Let's get started. Join them so that you can, like, stand up, okay, but not achieve anything because they won't allow solutions. And now they just talk about climate justice and, um, oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Yeah, they're going to finally build the future. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, that's justice, prosperous, equitable, and safe from the effects of the climate crisis, which in 16 years and even longer for McKibben, um, they have not even come close to achieving. Okay. And then, but here they celebrate for the time they've been in business here, but, um, and they look to the fights ahead. Okay, with McKibben, it's like Kennedy, it's a fight, man, we're going to fight them, we're going to stand up to them, instead of just going out there and giving the world the solutions that would have solved our problems long ago if Bill McKibben had used his voice for solutions. Okay, instead, they're out there, right, fighting the fight while achieving absolutely nothing but proven negative results for um, decades. This guy started right here. Uh, 1989 was his first book, The End of Nature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he has achieved nothing but hugely negative results and uh, a name for himself and literally robbing you uh, donors of their tax dollars because this man is a preventing solutions fraud. And what did he do? Well, uh, I saw this headline today, uh, Older Americans Protest Against Dirty Banks Funding Oil and Gas Projects. Now, this was in The Guardian. Um, this is 
Oh, right here. Um, March 22nd. Yep. <laughs> that That's today. And, um, yeah. So hundreds of older Americans gathered in Washington to protest against the, you know, four leading financial institutions and they cut up their credit cards in an act of defiance, right? Meant to condemn the bank's funding of oil and gas projects. Okay, I guarantee these people live a pretty intensive oil life. And if you said, hey, how about giving up that disposable product? Hey, that car you drive. Hey, you know, that kayak you're in. Hey, those parts. No matter what you're doing these days, you're using the oil. But they're standing up to the banks because the banks funding them getting the projects they want is the problem. Right. OK. These are the fools that follow McKibben. But now, see, the thing is here is that these activists, um, they're, they're part of a climate group called Third Act. Right. Oh, and who started um, Third Act? Oh, that's right. McKibben, who uh, co-founded the group last year to mobilize older Americans on environmental issues and provide support to the younger progressives who have led the way on climate activism in recent years. So the youth are leading the way and now the the adults just have to support them. And, and McKibben has this whole network of absolute fools and they they will still never achieve anything except, oh, that's right. What, what does Third Act do? Well, right here, donate. That's right. You can donate to them. Mm -hmm. And they're building a community of Americans over the age of 60 determined to change the world for the better. Together, we use our life experience, skills, and resources to build a better tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, and they're cutting up their fossil fuels funding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These people. Oh, my God. These people. So they say that they're, yeah, they're guided by an advisory council led by Akaya, A-K-A-Y-A, one word. I don't know who she is, but, um, but I did send her. <laughs> her and um yeah okay at third act info ad bill at third act now they have not come back to me I, I sent these emails a while ago even a test email and these addresses have not come back to me but you know bill at 350 may at 350 mckibben here now these have never come back to me in years of course, we have Project Veritas, who will not report truth here. Uh, Bobby, my hate and the environment, Kennedy, uh, Infowars, Rebel News, Glenn, Glenn Greenwald, USA Watchdog, Alex Newman, Dan at Press for Truth, who just did, you know, bashed Greta Tucker, <laughs> um, O'Keefe, O'Keefe, and I, I put down here, oh, in Third Act, don't worry about the independent truth media. They, too, won't do their job. Your secret is safe until I finally get my global break. But um, SGT report, no. No, Sean, SGT, uh, Lisa Havens, no. Um, no, no, they, they definitely won't report this. But Sean at SGT, now he had uh, Dan press for truth. And Dan, you know, took Greta and Gore to task because Greta deleted a tweet, you know, you know five, she predicted something. And, and But will they give you good environmental information? Absolutely not. But... Tonight, I tell AKAYA, um, third act, I'm like, uh, you're, to my, you're my tomorrow, uh, Friday Funny. Um, I sent this to your website through your contact form tonight. So why don't we do that while we're talking about it? Here's their contact form. And this is what's in that email. I told them to um, close your never will achieve, robs the public of their donation dollar doors. McKibben is a proven failure who has no solutions. Worse, McKibben and his God Earth to 400 plus prevent the light years best solutions that would have solved our environmental problems long ago. Get on solutions or close your won't achieve doors um, or your won't achieve doors will be robbing the public blind uh, or close your so your doors, because you're going to be robbing the, robbing the public line, like McKibben has done, seeking donations, living off of them for a very long time now. So we're submitting that right here, <laughs> right there. 
So uh, thanks for contacting us. Oh, they'll be in touch with me shortly. Everybody says that they never are. But um, so this is what I just read here. And then I tell them uh, McKibben is a complete proven failure fool. Uh, McKibben has exactly zero solutions, but worse has refused to lay years best solutions uh, the world needs for decades now. In the uh, process, McKibben has and continues to rob the public blind of their donation dollars. Also, third out, oh yeah, <laughs> I read that. Don't worry, don't worry, O'Keefe's not going to do his job. Glenn Greenwald, Alex Newman, he rails about the environment. Dan Presper, True Sean, right? Infowars, they say they're going to lead you to a sustainable future. Infowars, oh, I forgot Mike Adams' situation update, right? They're going to lead you. I, I played that clip a while ago, Mike saying that, and Alex like, yeah, man, a sustainable future. But will they give you good environmental information? No. No. And but and, and will they shut McKibben up and, and get people to stop being robbed of their donation dollars from this man? Absolutely not. So tonight we are just going to absolutely worthy laugh at this man. He is just an embarrassment and he truly is a thief. And there, there is no other word for it. <laughs> you know, he, he can't figure out he's a complete proven failure. How many decades has he been at this? And he's, oh, no, Jay. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, I said a long time ago, you know, 350's next event is the next one that's going to achieve, and none of them are ever going to achieve. Bill McKibben is never going to achieve a thing except taking your money and pretending like he cares. And so that's why we're laughing at him tonight. He just started a second group uh, to achieve, uh, this second group, third act, to achieve what his first group has not achieved um, 16 years after it was formed and decades after this absolute fool started becoming an environmental name. So <laughs> stay tuned, people.